Ok, riprendiamo con The Witcher 3 e dobbiamo trovare Palmerin. Vediamo se da questo lato c'è qualcosa che dobbiamo raccogliere. Nulla. Ok. Qui c'è qualcosa? No, è chiuso. Mm, bella questa porta. Uh, bella città questa. Ehm... Vorrei andare in città. Vabbè, andiamo qui per ora. Let's go. Presente. Tales for another time. But take a good look at the man who stands before you now. This is Geralt of Rivia, the master witcher who lent his valiant hand to the defeat of the giant Goliath. Master Richard, is it true virtue always trumped villainy? <clears throat> yeah, virtue always wins. But the Black Knight, he's a villain and he wins. The cutter of Casteldaccia, too. Moral victory. That's what counts. Rubbish! Now, that will do for questions. Go find your parents. Her enlightened highness has doubtless arrived at the tourney grounds to watch the battle in the arena. If we hurry, we'll be in time to speak with her before the spectacle begins. Lead the way. Who's fighting? Elf Guardian gladiators? It's close, but not quite. As we'll soon see. What's that troll? Is gonna fight a Shalemar? Throw some bells on its tail to confuse it, slow it down? Whatever is the problem? The beast is a gift from the Emperor, no less.
I dedicate my imminent victory to fair lady Vivian. Bocca al lupo. Ah, yeah. We have to help him. Una tranquilla giornata per il nostro Geralt. Defeated by Geralt of Rithia, master of the witchering trade. Behold, as the last gasps of life seep from the beast. Dillo, Geralt, sono stati dei pazzi, sono stati, dai. Master Geralt, do what you must. Finish the deed. It suffered enough. is done! Christ be the victors! Come on, stay, amico mio. The lads came down to close to die. I'm... fine. Not hurt at all. Vivian? Smile as befits a hero and keep silent. Speech clearly paints you. She preaches. A tu casa. Geralt. We must talk. Vivian. You shall talk later in the medic's tent. Geralt, magnificent, breathtaking. Your grace. We knew that to summon you was a brilliant idea. We are delighted, raffish, to have struck upon it. And I'm truly uh, honored. See to our young hero. Hop, hop. For we must make off with Geralt. We should talk. We had been long awaiting your arrival. Had nearly lost hope. Then suddenly, that entrance. So spectacular. Uh, 
Your Grace, my contract. I'd like to discuss it. Naturally, but not here. We shall need Damien. He let the investigation pending your arrival. But whoever could he be? Come, we must find him. Anja. <clears throat> Tell us, <coughs> have you come alone? Or did Viscount Julian accompany you? Wish to see Dandelion, Your Grace? Yes. I mean, no. Ugh. Yes. But solely to tell him we regret. Yes, deeply regret rescinding the death sentence we so justly handed down upon him. If we could turn back time, we would make certain he sat in a tower till he rotted. No, we would ensure he was broken on the wheel, then drawn, hanged, and quartered. very man we would entrust with his tasks. Damien Delatour, captain of my personal guard. Your Grace, Witcher. Greetings. Eh, questo forse non lo sa. I have to tell you, but the guardsmen handling the last victim's body. I know already. The creature in the cellar of Corvo Bianco. Was it the beast? No, a bruxa, a kind of vampire. Not the beast, but tied to it in some way. You know this how? Through careful analysis of the evidence, both on the riverbank and at Corvo Bianco. Do you mean to insinuate the investigation thus far has been sloppy? Geralt eh, is nothing of the sort. We must listen to him attentively. I examined the body of the beast's last victim. Might have found something. Need to analyze it. A quiet place. That's what I could use most right now. And maybe the help of an alchemist or a mage. Also like to hear all you know about the previous victims. Take it Sir Delatour is my man for that. Firstly, call me Damien, please. Secondly, you should know I spoke against summoning you here. I've heard much about you. You bring trouble, or thus far have, always. And we've enough trouble as it is. Yet we are capable of defeating the beast on our own. Death. Without an outsider's help. I've no doubt about it. Damien, we settled the matter of the Witcher's employ some time past. Definitively. Since you have broached it, nonetheless. Let us discuss Geralt's pay. Are the legends true? Do witchers usually demand that which you find at home yet did not expect? <laughs> non sempre, in realtà. Not quite, Your Grace. Law of surprise, it's something we invoke at times, but rarely. Usually we just take gold. Disappointing. This law sounds rather romantic. On the other hand, on returning to the palace, we would likely find impatient petitioners or a set of sample fabrics for a new dress. Poor rewards, both. I fear you'd not have much use for any of the surprises we are likely to come upon. Thus, we've decided you shall receive the deed to a vineyard, Corvo Bianco, and the sum of coin. You will doubtless consider this adequate. Si? Title to the vineyard shall be given to you at once. Surely you'll need lodgings while you hunt. The coin, however, will be yours only once you have slain the beast. Lovely, generous gesture, Your Grace. By the way, Corvo Bianco, isn't it the Duchy's temporary morgue? Is it now? The Chancellery has bungled things again, we fear. Not to be left unsupervised for one instant. Yet, in its mood, a morgue should present minimal problems to a witcher. What's more, Nothing enhances a wine's reputation better than a grim legend. Thank you, Your Grace. I accept the contract, of course. But as I said before, I'll need some information. How did it start? Who was the first victim? Crispy was the first to die. He was famed once for his many glorious tournament victories. 
Then he grew old, hung up his sword, and took to winemaking. Crespi was not loved by the wine merchants. He was ruthless in business and thought to cheat many a time. He asked us for a dispensation from all court ceremonies. We did not grant it. We could not. Once you've taken the oath of a knight, you remain a knight till death. How'd he die? Where'd they find the body? Quite unusual, the circumstance. He was at a feast when suddenly one of his fellow feast goers noticed he was missing. The town watch found him an hour later. On his hands and knees, propped against the town pillory, his sword hanging from his neck. He had died of wounds inflicted with claws, not a weapon. Blows of great force. So he died suddenly, but the body was on its knees, meaning someone posed it. So it seems. Second murder. Tell me what you know. In the city, there are certain nooks. No one reasonable ventures there after dark. Ramon Black's corpse was found in one such place. With the first murder, terror gripped the city. Its inhabitants grew wary, kept to safe areas. Consequently, news of the second victim came to us from a group of concerned cut purses. Criminals fear the beast? Telling in a way. Take it you've excluded the possibility that Ramon died at the hands of these bandits. Do you believe me, an amateur? Not hands, but claws killed Ramon Dulac. The wound was deep, clean. His body was found in a gutter, dressed in nightshirt and cap, a pillow placed under his head, and his sword replaced by a bed warmer. Ramon de Lac, a knight who but a dozen years past was an advisor to our father, the Duke. Someone went to a lot of trouble to make him look ridiculous. Maybe revenge was the motive. It's not out of the question. Dulac had shady dealings with the criminal underworld, but no one ever came forth with concrete proof of any misdoings. So, the first two victims were knights, best years behind them. The same could be said of the third. Sir Delacroix was wont to claim that in modern times, knights face new challenges, enterprise being the latest addition to the chivalric virtues. He made a veritable fortune in the grain trade. Palmerin even nicknamed him Sir de la Stinch. Found a coin pouch on his body. Contained florins dating from various times, hailing from different provinces of the Empire. Delacroix loved coin, true, but had no patience for numismatics. Lots of similarities between the victims. All the bodies were found in strange places under extraordinary circumstances. Seems the murderer, whoever or whatever it is, has some meaning to convey. These were honorable men. We are horrified by the disdain, the disrespect with which they were treated. These were knights of Toussaint, blasted. Might be the point. From what you say, none was a model of virtue. Ever considered that's what the beast's trying to draw attention to? All the murdered men were knights who swore fealty to the five chivalric virtues. And even if the Knights of Toussaint swear fealty to what virtues exactly? Honor, wisdom, generosity, valor, and compassion. Beast seems to be pointing up moral decay, denouncing it. Victims were all humiliated. Might have been murdered to emphasize their lack of specific chivalric virtues. Honor, compromised by the pillory. Wisdom by ridicule. Generosity by a coin pouch shoved down a throat. It seems to fit, true, though not perfectly. Can't discount the theory if it's on the lips of everyone in town. Say our reasoning's right. Next murder will be just as showy and denounce the victim's lack of the fourth virtue, valor. We can also assume that victim will be an elder knight. Let's think. At the moment, all the knights are either at the tourney grounds, or in the palace gardens. Our annual hare hunt shall begin there shortly. Have you heard of the custom? Wilton mentioned something. Seemed excited to prance around in a bunny costume. Not sure why. Hang on. Strange circumstances. 
a knight advanced in years, the famed cowardice of rabbits. Could it be that simple? Is Milton de Peyrac Peyren the next victim? Milton also knew Delacroix. Told me so down by the river. Damien! To me something so obvious. De Peyrac Peyren, Crespi, Delacroix, and de Lac formed the knightly team. It was years ago, but... Your Grace, we need to find Milton immediately. Rather problematic. You see, the Garden Entertainments are due to start, and he's disguised as the Hare, hiding somewhere, waiting for some tipsy courtiers to find him. The Hare's hiding place is a carefully guarded secret. We must call off the game, at once. First and foremost, we must remain calm. Damien, order the garden searched immediately, but discreetly. By no means can we disrupt the festivities. Panic will only incite the beast to strike sooner. And you, Witcher, follow me. My gardens, my knight, I shall take the fall. A murder is out of the question. I will not allow it. Not near my palace. Horses? Ready our horses! Your Grace! <gasps> what the hell? Why, I should... Your Highness, I... Mind it doesn't get wrinkled. seems right at home in the saddle. This way! Through town! Try not to lose your way! Sharp right! Take care! Good! É, fica aí bagrafe. Che è successo? We must go to where the game is being held. The participants must find a unicorn's horn, a golden fish and a phoenix tail. With these in hand, they can deduce where the hare, Milton, hides. Meaning we need to find those things too. We've no other option, but time is of the essence, so we shall have to break the rules. show you where the hunt plays out then we will split up you will get hold of the unicorn horn and the golden fish but I nab the phoenix egg that will be quickest the unicorn how do I catch it it's terribly skittish true but I'm sure you will find a way to earn its trust turns around over there look Fish. Do I need a rod or a net? Please, Gareth. It's not a real fish. Look there. Towards the water. See the lights? The hunters are trying to hook the fish from boats. You must simply dive in and find it. The golden fish and the horn both contain things or clues that will help us find Milton. Once you have fish and horn, find me among the other phoenix egg hunters. All clear? Then let's get to it. Va bene.
Perhaps an apple will work, or some sweets. We would not be in this predicament, dear sister, were you still a virgin. Do you really wish to have this conversation again? Here and now? Hush, or you'll spook the beast. We shall try to see. Hey, folks, gonna have to ruin your fun. Sorry. Who's that? Flagrant cheating is what it is. Sirs, we must teach this scamp some proper sportsmanship. Listen, I didn't break any rules. True. He won fair and square. We were unlucky, that's all. We must try to grab the next clue. Bravi. Gardens are huge. They're better off on horseback. Ma non c'è bisogno, 140 passi si fanno a piedi, dai. No. Hey, wait. Stop. It's important. King Cormorant Saya accept this offering we bring. Prithi cast upon us your merciful eye and bear before us its secrets. As the moon is heavenly course doth trace. In my domain, I await that moment of grace when a soul of good or ill repute brings me a gift, fitting tribute. A key. Why, you bomb-botched stretch! He's ruined the game! Disgraceful! Okay. If you 
please, your grace? We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. But it's against the rules. I am the rules. Geralt, at last. Got a key and a clue. Then I've another. Show me yours. Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a crone, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. Inizio, inizio con la S. Poi una congiunzione. Ho due rane senza corpo. E una fine con la A. Serra. Let's see. Grown with ease gives us green, right? And mouse with the head of hard cheese. Greenhouse? You're a genius. Several greenhouses in the gardens, indeed. But only one in the house, the key to which looks just like the one we found. Let's go. E eh, niente, c'è morto. Secondo me è un altro vampiro. I'm here. This belonged to you, maybe? It did. But you may keep it. I've a new one. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxer who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people, at least. And you? How many innocents have you cut down? Hmm. Not here to talk about me. Yet that is exactly what we are doing. So, did they send you after me? Who are they? What do you mean, they? Duchess hired me. You've been murdering her subjects. <laughs> Is it as simple as that? I would ask you to convey to the Duchess that I've been one victim left, but you'll not get the chance. <laughs> <laughs>
Aia. You are to stay where you are. Regenerate. I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself. No, he's my friend. Yes, Geralt. It's me. Regis? Hey, you all right? All is well. All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you, we... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear, having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Hardly peak for, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. I'm sorry. What happened? It was my fault. Never got a chance to apologize. No need, Geralt. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. You being here, not some fortunate coincidence, I take it. Your powers of deduction seem to have waned not one bit. Unhappy. I came here for Tetlar. I fear he's become entangled. Landed himself in serious trouble. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though Detlaf is... How would you humans put it? More bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here, at least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand, Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. So in your opinion, what are his reasons? Precisely what I wish to find out. And then I will convince him of the error of his ways. Got a lot of faith in the guy. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are woke to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. Remember the year 964? <laughs> that was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost 200, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Huh. Vampires rarely help humans. Must have had his own agenda hunting the beast. You err. He slew it for one reason alone. The monster killed a lad who once in the street had offered Detlaf an apple, expecting nothing in return. Terribly <laughs> noble of him. You do not have a monopoly on altruism, my friend. Vilgefort melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter, regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Oh, much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent. One they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd instinct. His tribal propensity. In point of fact, he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upsetting. Immensely. 
Bella storia, ma devo comunque trovarlo. Well, we share a cause then, just like the old days. Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? Mm. All in all, sure. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Declaf is no monster. Fine, all right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I'd make shift quarters at Mer Lachey's Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. <clears throat> Sirs, we must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unavenged. Okay. Ma dov'è la porta per uscire, scusate? Ah. Must allow the Witcher to ply his trade. Good hunting to you, Witcher. Geralt, hail! Long live Duchessa Anna Henrietta. All is in order! Uh, siamo in città, siamo. There's more to be done about them. Sir, sir, a letter for you, sir. Letter? Who from? Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. Grazie. Here. Thanks. No, sir. Thank you. And I truly hope I'll be of service again. Dearest. I suspect weighty affairs, rather than merely the wine festival, have drawn you to Tucson. Perhaps you'll find time to probe a certain matter in spite of this. I recently came across the mention of one Professor Moreau, a scholar in Beauclair, who conducted research into Witcher mutations. Though the details are rather murky, as is the location of the scholar's laboratory, his journal could contain more information. It lies buried with him in his tomb. I enclose a map I found in the book I happened upon. Though less than completely legible, I trust it will prove useful nonetheless. I felt this matter could prove of some importance to you. Thus I dispatched this letter without delay. Whatever you decide, please take exceedingly good care of yourself. Your Yen. Professor who studied Witcher mutations. It might actually be worth looking into. Mark Beauclerois! Where does Celestine wander of late? Love's fire in the dome. Trust a few. I swear on my, on my own. I shall it. smash the plunderer. 
pressure is all mine, truly. One yes, Witcher. I've no time. Greetings, brave hero. I am Raphael de Surman, and I am the Duke of Camarlengo. I'm Geralt. So what is it you do here? I pay the knight's errand. For what? Our knights want of the roads protecting Tusa from bandits and monsters. It is fitting and just that they be recompensed appropriately for Justa. these toils. Uh, note, sir, that should you successfully smash a hands, save a brother knight from peril, or extract a captured merchant from the hands of cutthroats, come see me. You shall be rewarded. Wouldn't mind a glance at your books. Ones you're willing to sell, that is. Questo già l'abbiamo letto, questo cos'è? Eh, una partita guenta. Wouldn't happen to play Gwen. Ah, yeah, he's on all Ho detto che è già male sta battaglia. Questa è persa. E anche malamente direi. Devo passare per forza. E eh vabbè, ma tutte carte da 10 c'ho però... Ma eh, io ho finito. Da 10, no, da 3 25 più 1, 27 vado alla guarda ma costa pazzi voglio rigiocare, amico mio
Scheiß Lager Charm. devi giocare due, due carte dovresti giocare una carta e seconda carta c'è lui c'è qualche altro mercante qui forse è qui l'ingresso A serious client at last. Tell me, what do you need? Honeysuckle, Ganesha petals? Show me what you've got in stock. Questo cos'era? Non mi interessa. Non mi interessa neanche questo. Formula. Queste formule me le prendo. Dietro. Ok. Pronto. Siamo pieni di soldi, per cui. Partita da Gwent. In the mood for a round of Gwent. Puoi parlare, cioè non è che devi sta zitto. Allora, abbiamo detto che abbiamo troppe carte. Quindi cacciamo questa. Cacciamo... Qua. E siamo a 34 carte 6, 6, 5 il C, Questo lo lascio Questo lo devo lasciare Potrei cacciare queste tre Però In combinazione sono buone Per cui lasciamole Caccio 1 2 e 3 E il trabucco 30 carte Cacciamo anche il... un cono, lo lasciamo. Ehm... 29, vai. Questa la cacciamo. E tutto il resto può rimanere.
O, czekaj ja, ok? Si trasforma in un orso quando c'è una carta mardroeme nella sua fila. Seria, veramente? Sessanta mm. sette punti. Tieni premuto e passiamo, si sì, è... non è fattibile. Perdiamo tempo. Ma che bass... Non ci può, dai, ma dai, ma dai, ma dai, ma dai. È carino sto, sto mazzo con quei Skellig. Ok, grazie mille per la partita. Arrivederci. Mia, possiamo creare qualcosa? No. Nice Mappa. E qui. Take another step. 
Don't slurp your food. Don't eat with your hands. Don't pick your teeth with your knife. What? Oh, I'm just jesting. You, sir, clearly were not born in a barn. Welcome to the pheasantry. The best auberge in all the duchy. Mm, what are you serving? Eh, non vendi nulla. Una partita a Gwent. I know you're busy, but... questo e il resto può rimanere no, ti regalo dei punti hai schippato Clippato. Facciamo così, mi gioco. Questa e questa. Arriva a 20. E vinco il primo round. Ok, un facile 2 a 0. Ok, e... fatto, fatto, fatto. Qui. Tintura bianca per armatura. Che vuoi? My eyes were not deceived. It's so far south. You sir of all folk in all your fame. Mhm. Mm Me, south in all my fame. Oh, I've heard so much. Why the master Dandelion tarried in Beauclair not a day passed without him baying out a ballad in admiration of your deeds. Sempre tanto non ci di mezzo comunque. Yeah. Unwelcome little habit of his. But what can I do for you? Ah, you see my betrothed, Francois Le Goff, vowed in my honor to bring me the head of the horrid beast they call Retore. Hmm. Couldn't have gotten you a bouquet, some sweets and a bag. Witcher, sir, you jest. A love most true demands proof through heroic deeds dedicated to the heart's captor. But alas, Francois has been gone a fortnight. Thus, I must plead with you to see what's become of him. 
Could you? Would you? Rarely my want to turn down a damsel in distress, even less so when there's a <clears throat> prize involved. Ah, naturally. Why, you, sir, are no knight errant, but a guildsman, an expert. How much would you need? Yes, that amount I am prepared to pay. Do my damnedest to get your fiancé back safe and sound. Just, uh, mind telling me where to look for him? I forget you come from afar and do not know our land. They say Grotori has its lair in the caves at the foot of the Gorgon Hills. That close to the city? Telling me no bold souls have ventured out to defeat the beast? Quite the contrary. Plenty have. But none's returned. My concern is well founded. I see. All right. High time I set off. Vabbè, ah abbiamo trovato una missione da fare più avanti. Ora come ora non mi interessa fare questa missione. Contract? Uh, of the contract in question, you acquitted yourself beautifully years past, on your last sojourn in Bolklin. I was in a bit of a bind at the time, do you remember? Yet I swore a solemn vow to pay you in full one day. Guess it rings a bell. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed it in an account for safekeeping. Hmm. What kind of account? A savings account at Chanfanelli Bank. You need but walk in and withdraw. The sum must be rather substantial by now. Grazie. Thanks. Head over there first chance I get. Gotta stop by the bank. Salve. Ah, posso vendere, fermati. Ah, queste sono le tinte. Cos'è questo? Perché per fare i kit Cote gnomica Cote nanica Cote C'è qualcosa che ha a che fare con la cote Tu che vendi? Carine pure queste qua Però io non so cosa Rutilla. Allora, aspetta un attimo. Che okay, questa non è roba che ho indosso. È tutta la roba che ho. Aspetta un attimo. Allora, inventario. Allora, io ho una borsa che tiene 100. Sella 85, parocchi 60. Ehm... Mi devo segnare che se no tra 3 secondi io me le sono già dimenticate queste cose. Allora, faccio la foto. La borsa è 100. La sella 85. 
però chi 60 ok allora la riparliamo col tizio mostrami quello che hai allora parocchi eh, parocchi questa è la sella parocchi è 60 cioè io come parocchi in realtà credo che siano tutti quanti da 60 questi vabbè non mi interessano i parocchi sono brutti poi sella 85 cioè io questi invece sono da 90 è una borsa 110 allora la borsa da 110 la compriamo che è questa qua tutte queste selle le possiamo vendere Allora, sella della siepe, parocchi della siepe, ah vabbè sono, diciamo a combina, a combo sono, ok, parocchi tu sanna, no, forse va questo, cavaliere errante, tu sanna, tu sanna, questo sembra carino questo qua, sella delle 5 virtù cavalleresche, Ah, c'è solo un confronto e basta. Quanto costa? Costa 9,51. Allora, io vorrei... Così esteticamente forse questa è carina. Virtù cavalleresche. Vediamo se c'è anche il parocchi e le virtù cavalleresche. Eh no, ho beccato l'unica che non c'è forse. Questo cos'è? Cavaliere errante. Cavaliere errante, 60. E questo è cavaliere errante. Ah, già diciamo così, mi compro questo. E cavaliere errante. Eh, stammi bene so. riapri qui ehm, qua allora mettiamo questo qua mettiamo questo qua e mettiamo la borsa e... scusami un attimo perché non ho la balestra porca miseria Mostrami che cosa c'hai. Ti ho venduto qualche balestra per caso? Mm, mi sembra di no. No, va bene. Due e tre si vende. A posto. Interessa, non crei nulla. Non crei nulla. Partita da quello. Allora, questo lo cacciamo. Questo lo cacciamo. Ah, regni settentrionali contro regni settentrionali. Ok, si è a 13. 
Mi gioco questa Vado a 15 E vinco la prima battaglia Primo turno Con il minimo indispensabile Peccato. Ok. Uh, siamo alla pari qui adesso È passato il turno oh, Facciamo così noi 75 a 66 Però devo giocare ancora questa io Quindi andiamo a 92 E abbiamo vinto pure questa Questo abbiamo fatto, 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 fatto. Uh, andiamo qui. Sure you'll be interested all the same. I'm an armorer, see, and I for years sought diagrams for witch armor of exceptional quality, Grandmaster level. Heard of them. Never seen any though. Thought they were lost. Not quite. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. Mi può interessare. If you know where to look, why not get him yourself? No offense, but do I look like a rough hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No, I rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. These diagrams somehow wound up in Tucson? How is that even possible? Tusa was once home to Tien Sai, a legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. The witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. And thus he charged the king's ransom for his work. Witches would take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some, alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. 
But how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai inside. So I heard the stories of the missing witches firsthand. What he told me, well, that is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. Ci sto. Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school of the wolf, griffin, cat, bear and manticore. Which should I start with? Iniziamo con l'orso, io c'ho l'orso addosso, mi pare. Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tiensai took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bear head medallion that uh, hung from his neck. I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much coin. True. This one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo vineyard where a building had just collapsed. Time passed. The bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, the witcher had indeed accepted a job. Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Adam. I remember him well. My master liked him, helped him find safe yet a well-paid contract a few years ago an archaeological expedition arrived in Tucson from Castel Gropia they questioned my master about the elfin ruins at Termas he warned them of the danger there and recommended they take Aton as an escort what kind of danger did he mean any idea legend claims Wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termas. We cannot say if there is any truth to this, but uh, both the scholars and the witcher disappeared without a trace. Did you find it? The Griffin. What can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago, but my master remembered him well. This witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as his colleagues were. He had taken on a contract at Fort Usa and required better gear. He showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, and was never seen again. Apparently, he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It said left in a rush, so he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa, but you may wish to search them. Gatto. Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome de Lone, the ducal armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time, he was working on new armor for the Ducal Guard. A witcher from the School of the Cat offered to sell him diagrams for a full set of gear. The diagrams would have been helpful indeed. The diagram you saw, was it really a witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. It's a shame Delone didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up. Afraid the witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. Possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, the Lone disappeared without a trace. I would have searched his former home for clues, but it has fallen into disrepair, and it is simply too dangerous there. Infine, Manticora. The school of the Manticore. Probably know the least about it. 
Though once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him, a witcher named Merton. He made a poor impression on my master. He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sahil slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. He would conduct no business with the drunk. The Witcher, however, failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze fueled brawl with the Ducal Guard. He was arrested and sentenced. Bastoy Prison, where he was held, well, it's been a ruin for years. Still, you may want to start your search there. Okay. What do you have on offer? Vendi qualcosa di carino? Mi sembra di no. Questo cos'è? Lo schema. Va bene. Arrivederci. Good luck on the path. Grazie. Allora. Ehm, io ho fatto visita a lui. Qua c'è... Cazzo è qui? Sì. Welcome, good sir, to Dupont and Sons Emporium of Diverse Merchandise. Satisfaction guaranteed. Boh, vediamo. Show me what you got back. Che vendi tu? Ma veramente, sta roba vende. Quadri. Vabbè, diciamo che ho una casa adesso, quindi magari... Ne compriamo tanto su 20 monete l'uno. Ok, una partita a Gwent. Ok, contro i mostri. E questa la cacciamo. E figurati. Uh, ehm... Mi gioco questa? E passiamo il turno. Vinta in un modo completamente inaspettato. Ehm... Gioco questa.
il Merit. No, facciamo questo di 10. Aia. Facciamogli quei sette per ora. Ah, vabbè, però dai. Cinquantotto e passi sono a quaranta, cinquanta, sessanta, settantaquattro. Ok, 2 a 0. Ok. Ehm. Questo non me l'ho fatto. E... Non ricordo di essere andato al fabbro però io. Io sono andato qui Ah, subito dopo c'è un'altra Ok C'è qualcuno sopra? Sì Mostrami che l'ho clicco Chi c'hai? Nulla Aspetta un attimo, dammi una balestra, va. Visto che la mia non la trovo. Ah, ce l'avevo, vabbè. Fa più danni questa frutta. Salviamo. Mappa. Allora, uno e due hai fatto, questo abbiamo fatto, questo abbiamo fatto, l'erborista. E poi c'è quest'oste. Allora, l'erborista, andiamo per di qua. Vediamo quello che hai. Questo cos'ha? Ah, soluzione per il non mi interessa. Una partita a Gwent è quello che mi interessa di più. Guarda, eh, onestamente mi va bene così il mazzo. Top. Mescolo nel mazzo le carte scartate di ogni giocatore.
al inicio. Molto bella. Gran bastardo. Quarantasei. Sei fa cinquantadue. Devo usare per forza questo. Bravo. Anche questa azione mi è piaciuta molto. Chi giochi quello giochi E vai a 72 Porca miseria Vabbè ma se vai a 72 posso comunque giocare questa Passo Ok io vado a 15 E arrivederci Ok E... Oste Oh wait, are you not that famous witcher Geralt of Rivia? 
I believe I have work for you. What kind of work? Work related to the monument to Reginald Dalton. The matter is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Unless I can say no more at this stage. Interested? Por qué no? The statue. Just tell me what's the problem. A picture's worth a thousand words. More, I dare say. Come with me. I'll show you. Here it is. Our pride and joy, Reginald Dolphin. A giant among lovers. A poking puncturing swordsman, and atop all that, an unrifled fiddler of harps and other organs. Mm. So what's wrong with it? How should I put this? It's lost its jewels. Okay, well, uh... Somebody stole the testicles off a statue. No ordinary statue, mind you. The sole monument made using a cast of the great Reginald's own genitals. Certified and authenticated. Sprung directly from his loins, they grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. All who buy a ticket, that is. Thus, you must retrieve those stones. Any idea when the theft took place? It must have been mere hours ago. I guided the last group through the exposition quite recently. The stones were very much in place. Got any suspects? Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized pouch, everyone's a suspect. Who would not want it for himself? Need to look around. Might find a clue or two. Do what you must. As long as you return grasping Reginald's stones. Without them, Beauclair's entire tourist sector faces trying times. Trying times. Up, and it. If you must. Ma ora come ora non mi interessa. Eh, dove? Ah, la qua si scende. Ah, è sotto ancora. Bella locanda. My prices are the best. Greetings and welcome, sir. To Io che cosa vendi tu? Niente, carta, ma non vende, nessuno vende più carte. Una partita guento. Ah, subito con Siri.
Ah, passate il turno, ok. Vittoria, 2-0. Grazie anche a te, Oste. Hola. Allora. Beh, altri mercanti non me ne trovo, per cui chiudiamo qui il video e nel prossimo andiamo alla ricerca di queste. Proviamo. E al prossimo video.